So, good morning. It is uh, about 4.30 in the morning. Just went and started my truck. And it's pouring down rain. Heading up to the first round of the IXCR season. And yes, I shaved and I don't like it. Hopefully it'll grow back quick. We're getting about an inch of rain today. So, unfortunately, probably gonna be a mutter. But where we're going, it's kind of sandy, gravelly, hard base. So maybe most of it runs off. But either way, kind of unfortunate, but at least it's not cold. So it's supposed to be in the 60s today, which is very abnormal for Indiana. Got the trailer loaded. My older brother, Adam, and his nephew are coming with us today too. Should be a fun day of racing. I've got my bike in there, but I am not really interested and racing in this and my tires aren't very good because i didn't want to put my new ones on yet i'm not sure if i'm gonna run or not but getting ready to head to the track oh hi jeff thanks <laughs> Not to compete without medical insurance. Medical Hi, Jason. We're under starter's orders. In 10 seconds! So, right here, Bryce got a good jump. Checked up a little bit too early. And then uh, got a good run up the hill, but I think he had walked the track and playing this outside line. Lost a couple spots. Here's uh, Jeff's angle of the start. I think this next clip is going to be uh, Brody Amos in the 85 senior class. He got a really good start. And well, you know him. This uh, 85 junior, Sam Klein. In the 65 class, first race for our buddy Deegan. He got a really good start. But he also took that outside line that Bryce did. It didn't do very well. Here's uh, Jeff's angle of the start. Uh, right here, Bryce was in second. They were coming around almost getting ready to finish their last lap. He uh, lost the front end of this mud hole. There was a lot of icy spots on this track that were underwater that you couldn't really see all that well. Uh, coming through right here, he was in third behind Grayson Fisher. Um, I think it was Joe Bird. Garrett Ferguson. Here's Grayson still in first. Found out later that uh, he tweaked his ankle somewhere. So Bryce was right on him right here, but Grayson at this point was already, his ankle was hurting. Came through, tried to give Bryce goggles. He didn't want to. Gavin Ferguson coming through. There's Griffin Coleman coming through. Hank lost his back fender somewhere. Right here, I didn't get my camera turned on in time, but right there is where Bryce got Grayson. And uh, this is Jeff. He was 
uh, filming just after the finish line. Bryce had gotten around. Hey, what do you think about the battle? Pretty good. Crazy, Bryce caught Grayson, made the pass, I guess, somewhere. Don't know what happened. Grayson's on his tail. What time is it? It's 10.17. And 17, so. They possibly have the white flag. We don't know. Coming right through here, this is a good example of why you need to keep your goggles on. Bryce gets a nice face full from the lap there. Then gets around him finally. Be smart, be smart. Uh, right here we're on the last lap. Bryce is in the lead. Now we're back over to where Jeff is. Nice little whoosh out section. Here comes Grace, and I can't believe he is still going this fast with his ankle messed up. And then uh, Bryce got the checkered. He's pretty pumped. Pretty excited. And, uh... Now, Tim, it's not good if we injure the riders after the race. <laughs> it's a bit windy. All right, so Bryce, you have never been on the podium, is that right? Yeah. All right, so I talked to Bryce before the race, and I said it was time to get a podium. And uh, he, he told me something about a deal that he made with his mom. So I would like him to explain it to you, not myself getting some mountain bike bars now. <laughs> so what was the deal? Uh, if I get top three overall, she'll buy them for me. So if you got first overall, did you, you should have negotiated a first place, second place, and third place deal. All right, now, um, I saw you got a good jump off the line, but it, I don't think you actually went into turn two in a very good position. No, not really. I was really close to the tractor tires that were on the inside, and I had to slow up. All right, so what place do you think you were going into turn two? I think I was still like fourth or fifth, and then I just went the outside. All right, so then about five minutes into the race, I saw you guys uh, going across the ridge. And honestly, there was a pretty good gap between first, second, and third. So when did you start making up that gap? Well, on the first lap, I was in front of Grayson, but he passed me back. And the leader crashed, and we both passed him. And then he pulled away a little bit. So how many times did you get stuck or crash? Crashed once and then one time I almost crashed, but saved it. All right, so your dad's racing later, so it seems like he should have to get a podium if you got one, doesn't it? So I think they'll throw that challenge out. No, he's shaking his head. All right, well, congratulations, my friend. And what a way to get a podium for the first time on the top step. Who do you want to thank? God and Jesus for keeping me safe, my mom and my dad for taking me to all the races, uh, Fly Racing, WPS, Team Green Kawasaki, Westfield, Fuel Ministries, Stacy Mundy, and anybody else. All right, give them all a round of applause. We got a great group of young men here and a great group of racers. So this is uh, my start and van. We're right next to each other. I think we went to the first turn, second and third behind Gavin Carmen. And then uh, Jackson got me. And then this, uh, this here is the, I think, open sea class right behind us. And uh, there was all kinds of carnage in the first turn. This is my older brother, Adam shot this or the pile up in the first turn here and then coming up the hill there was a another pile up looks like James Meek was tangled up in it there's quite a bit that sand slash pea gravel is deceiving a lot of times so obviously I'm in this race so I didn't get to film much so this is uh, Jeff filming Gavin and Van going through. This guy kind of just gets swapped out in the sand. And it's not really even sand. It's kind of pea gravel. It's uh, unpredictable. Here's Van. Not sure what lap, but uh, he was leading the class. And um, right here, this was my least 
favorite part of the whole track. Uh, coming down this straightaway, this hill, the main line was just always clogged with riders, so you had to kind of dodge to the left. You can see Van go up in there. And, it, and there was usually a guy on that line, too. So then here's a shot of Van's helmet cam. He swaps out super hard on high speed section. And then right here, uh, I was just trying to get around uh, one of the vet guys and he lost his front end and then I didn't want to waste any more time getting around him after he put me in the bush so I kind of uh, flipped him going by and then just kind of got to be patient with some of this sand sections and riders and uh, right here this was extremely icy you can see Jackson Fisher going over the bars and then uh, I think my camera angle right here has a couple riders back he's getting up by that point but that's uh, not a very fun way to cook the race. now Monday night got home from work got the bikes washed up uh, with Bryce winning uh, I had to start washing his bike but he's too particular about how his bike gets washed now so I started it and he came through and finished it but um, great weekend of racing yes the weather was terrible there was a lot of rain I'm not sure that it would have been much drier had we not gotten the rain just it's just been so wet around here. Pretty good for us anyway, with Bryce being able to get his first win uh, in Super Mini and his first overall at an IXCR. I took my bike. I think I might've said that I wasn't gonna race, but my bike was already loaded. But when I got there and saw how much of the sand sections they'd put into the track, I just decided to race anyway. And it was, it was tough. There were some bad spots, but overall I had a good time racing in the new 150 BC class with all the youngsters. Um, I think I was the only one in the class that wasn't a teenager on a 125. Um, I ended up fifth out of 10 of us. Uh, now we just pack and prep for next weekend, which is our long trip. First time we've ever gone to the Florida GNCC. And then we're gonna hang out in Florida for a week, then hit the Georgia one on our way home. But again, great first round for IXCR. We've kind of set the pace now he's got to back up some wins hopefully he can do that and or just have a good time racing this year because uh, we're having a lot of fun racing so thanks for watching guys